Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Duran. Thank you so much for joining us for your city update. The new COVID variant Omicron has been found in California. While there are still a lot of unknowns surrounding this variant, we want to remind you of where you can get tested and get vaccinated. There is a drive through COVID-19 testing and vaccination site in the parking lot of UNLV Paradise Campus at 851 East Tropicana. It's open five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday from 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 30 p.m. That's right across the street from the Thomas and Mack Center. The site has about 500 tests and 300 vaccinations per night, including booster shots that are free and available. It's all on a first come first served basis. The Pfizer vaccine is available for ages 12 and up as well. However, this site is not giving out pediatric doses to children between 5 and 11 years old. That will have to be administered at other clinic locations, pharmacies or their pediatrician office. We know there are a lot of questions about the Omicron variant and how it reacts with the vaccine. Uh, one of the best places to go for updated information is nvcovidfighter.org. The site lists all vaccination events taking place in our community and has a blog that answers a lot of questions. Again, that address is nvcovidfighter.org. The Mint 400 rolls into town this weekend. It's the oldest and most prestigious off-road race in the country. There was a massive parade on the Las Vegas Strip on Wednesday. In addition, there is a two-day festival on Fremont Street and two days of off-road racing. The Mint 400 started in downtown Las Vegas in 1968 by Norm Johnson. The Mint 400 race ended in 1988 after the sale of the Mint, but the race would continue in 2008 when the Great American Off-Road Race was revived. Uh, we are so close to the beginning of the new year, so now is the time to start thinking about participating in next year's Las Vegas Days Parade. This was formerly known as the Hell Dorado Parade, which celebrates Las Vegas' history and founding in 1905. Applications are now being accepted from the community for whoever wants to participate in next year's parade, which is scheduled for Saturday, May 14th from 10 a.m. to noon. There is no fee to enter the parade. Uh, the Commission for the Las Vegas Centennial is offering $1,000 for local school marching band entries and $1,500 for quality local school float entries. In total, there's space for about 100 parade entries. Uh, there's some money up for grabs as well, including $500 for the best marching band and $500 for the best historic Las Vegas themed float. For more information, just call 702-229-4859. All right, well, that's going to do it for your city update. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you next week.